Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do another manga haul. So a while back, Right Stuff had a sale on romance manga, so that included Shoujo, Jose, and Slice of Life series. So I went ahead and took advantage of the sale and got a lot of stuff I was interested in reading. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first series I have is Kimi Todoke, and the English translation to that would be From Me to You. About a month ago, I finished watching the anime to the series and I did enjoy it, except I did feel like it was a little long and it dragged a little near the end. So here is volume 2, and here I have volume 3 of the series. I do know the manga has a lot more volumes and goes more far ahead than the anime does. I feel like the anime had a pretty satisfying ending and I didn't feel like it really needed any more, but we'll see what happens. The main premise of the series is our main character, Savako, which has a really hard time making friends. She looks really unapproachable and is really socially awkward. Because of this, she's never really had friends and people at her school call her Savako, which is not her name. I believe the name Savako comes from a Japanese story of a bathroom ghost, but I could be wrong about that. Saoko really admires Kazehaya because of how popular and sociable he is. He has a lot of friends and basically everyone loves him so she really admires that about him. The admiration she has for him later on does turn into love. Apart from following their relationship, we also follow her making friends. She makes two really good friends, Yano and Yoshida, and it basically just follows their story of their friendship as well. So I actually haven't read the series, but on some of the panels, there's like these little author notes and they are really fun to read. Those are honestly one of my favorite things about buying physical volumes, is being able to read those and just seeing the thoughts of the author when they're writing the story and most of them are really funny and adorable and the little doodles are also really cute. So I really like reading those. So that is Kimi Todoke, which I would highly recommend. Moving on, the next series I have is An Incurable Case of Love. Now this series I have very mixed feelings on and I don't really know if I like it or not. This series is a jose so it takes place when they're adults. But the romance really started when Nanase was in high school. She saw Tendo which was already in Doctor saving someone and just thought he was really kind and brave. She ended up really admiring him and falling in love. After high school, she decided to go in the medical field and study to become a doctor to be able to reunite with him and confess her love. Later on, she ended up getting transferred to the same hospital he works at and turns out he's actually really mean and cold. After that, it follows her love story and their adventures. I wasn't the biggest fan of her for only that reason that she wasted so much time going into the medical field. But apart from that, the story wasn't bad and I took a little break from reading it so I only read up to volume 1 and then decided to stop. But I will continue the series and hopefully I like it more as the volumes continue. And here we have volume 2 of this series. I think I ordered a couple more volumes but I'm actually not sure about that. So there we have An Incurable Case of Love. The next series I have is Waiting for Spring. I heard a lot of people highly recommend this one and say they really enjoyed it, so I decided to at least get the first couple volumes. I read all the volumes I have physically and I surprisingly actually enjoyed this series, which I was a little bit surprised. This series kind of seems like a reverse harem series, but it's really not. This series revolves around Taruna, which is really shy and has trouble making friends. When she was younger, she had this friend which was really confident named Aya. She moves to a new school and tries to make a better impression and make more friends, but it doesn't quite turn out that way. Through certain events, she ends up befriending the basketball team and it basically just follows her love story with one of the boys. Here we have my love story volume 1. I already explained the premise to this series in another video, so I will leave it at that. I will probably wait a little to read the manga since I recently finished watching the anime. If you'd like to hear what this series is about, I'd recommend go watching that video. And here is Screaming is Loke, and this is probably my favorite volume cover from all the three volumes I have physically. So here is how the art looks. It's very much that old shoujo art style. But the art is really nice and again, I'd highly recommend the series. And here is Waiting for Spring Volume 2. The ending to this was pretty good and I was actually tempted to read them online, but I decided to wait and read them physically. And here we have An Incurable Case of Love Volume 3. One thing I like about the volumes is they all have different colors. As you can see, all the different volumes have different colors. This next series is probably my favorite from the entire box, and that is Love and Focus. This is a three volume series, so if you're looking for something that won't take a big investment, I would highly recommend this one. I read the first volume and I immediately fell in love with the series. I just really enjoyed it. 
the plot isn't anything new or like significantly great but i just really enjoyed the characters and i just really enjoyed the art shot of this can we just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful the art is the color pages are just amazing and the art inside the volume that isn't colored is also really nice i don't know i just really love the art style to the series and i cannot wait to read the rest of the volumes this series revolves around our main character mako which really likes photography her grandpa taught her how to take pictures from a really young age, but recently her grandpa passed away. Her childhood best friend Kay is in a school and it has a really good photography club, so he invited her over there. She ended up moving over there and now she lives in a shared house. She ends up befriending Amemura, which is very unsociable and hates getting pictures taken of him. In the end, it's kind of like a love triangle series. The next series I have is Kaguya-sama Love is War, which I know is quite popular because of its anime. I tried watching the first episode of the anime, but I just wasn't a fan of like the narrator in the background. So hopefully I will enjoy the manga to this. And here are the colored pages. I also really like the art to this series. I believe the series is more in the romantic comedy, but I'm really not sure since I haven't read or watched the series. I don't know too much about this except that there are two presidents of the student council and they both like each other. They are both very stubborn and don't want to admit it. So basically they play mind games and stuff like that to get each other to admit and confess. The next series I have is Queen's Quality and I have absolutely no idea what the series is about except that it is a sequel to the series. And that is absolutely all that I know about this series, so I guess I'll have to find out when I read it. The next series I have is Daytime Shooting Star, and here we have Volume 2. Volume 1 came in a different package, so I have read up to Volume 2, and I surprisingly enjoyed the series. The series is kind of like a age gap love triangle, I guess is the best way I'll be able to describe this series. So basically, Suzume is our main character and she moves to Tokyo from like a small town. She basically ends up meeting her uncle's friend, which is her homeroom teacher. She ends up developing kind of a crush on him. As well, she ends up befriending another guy, Mamura. And it's basically a love triangle between them and she basically has to choose, I believe. I do know the ending to this, so I do know who she stays with and I'm actually kind of excited about that, so yeah. I would highly recommend this series and I am excited to get the rest of it. And next is Love and Focus Volume 3, which is the last volume to the series. I only need Volume 2 to complete it. And I can't read Volume 3 if I don't have Volume 2, so I am patiently waiting. I did order it, but it just is still out of stock, which is really frustrating. But yeah, here is Love and Focus Volume 3. The next series I have is After the Rain Volume 1, and I really enjoyed the first volume. I know some people don't like this series because of the age gap, but I personally just don't mind. So it revolves around Tachibana, which is a high school student, so she's around 16 or 17, I believe. So it revolves around Tachibana, which is a high school student, so I believe she's around 16 or 17. And she falls for an older man around his 40s, which I know the age gap is quite large, so that's why a lot of people don't like this. And it basically just follows their love story. I do know the ending to this because my sister spoiled it again. So let me just show you guys the color page and then the actual art. I do believe this series has an anime adaptation and I started watching it and it's very relaxing. They really like drawing eyes and scenery. I don't know, I think it's pretty good. So that is Tachibana and that is him and they have a lot of misunderstandings because of their personalities. So that is just them. But overall, it's a pretty wholesome series. I believe there's like some more colored pages in here. Yeah, so here we go. I don't know, I personally really like them together, so yeah. So if age gaps don't bother you, I would highly recommend this series. I know some people say the main point of the series wasn't actually the romance, it was kind of for her like self-discovery, coming to age kind of thing, where she just kind of grew up and got over him. But overall, I think it's a pretty good series and I would give it a try. So that concludes everything I have for this manga haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below any manga suggestions and any videos you guys would like to see me do. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!